I'm Dave Stanley with the Sky Racing Update. Albury trainer Mitchell Beer is confident he can walk away from Monday's home track meeting as a winner. Beer has seven runners engaged to start at Albury and suggested his best two chances of success look to be in races five and six, respectively. Speaking with Sky Sports Radio, Beer said Sabafildi, which lines up in the sixth, should have won its latest start and that the only slight issue in Monday's event is an outside barrier. He expects the three-year-old to prove hard to beat. Zabafeldi has been firm in betting, as has stablemate sealed the deal, while this skilled cat would be king and hail the hero, loom as other chances. Beer will also saddle up two-year-old first starter, Dominique, in the fifth event, and he expects the daughter of charge forward to perform well after electing to miss a start at Gundagai on Saturday in preference for Monday's event. Jordan Mallion will ride both Dominique and Zabafeldi at Albury. Sydney's Premier jockey James McDonald notched up a century of winners for the Metropolitan season at Rose Hill on Saturday when booting home a treble. McDonald scored on Rothenberg and the Tab Highway for Matthew Dunn, then backed that up with a breathtaking victory on the James Cummings prepared Rohirrim, which was resuming from a spell. It was Cummings who provided McDonald with the success that took him to a hundred and a half winners when Cordia powered home to win the final event. McDonald, who is set to appeal a three-week suspension incurred last Friday over his ride on 3 Ood at Ramwick recently, will be in action on Wednesday, where he rides Giovanni Run, Game Royal and, and Dancing Gidget, all for trainer Chris Waller. Excitement is building at Grafton now that its Winter Carnival has officially started. Next week we'll see the running of the Ramorny Handicap and the Grafton Cup with both those meetings to be showcased on Sky Thoroughbred Central. The John Carlton Cup was run at Grafton on Sunday, with the Stephen Bennett trained exclusive scoring in a race that had the speed set by the Brett Kavanagh trained Sid's Footprints, which held on to finish fourth. The Matt Dunn trained Snitz was a scratching from the John Carlton Cup to instead be saved to go straight into the Ramorty Handicap. Snitz is the favourite to win the Kosciuszko at Ramwick in October, with front page and handle the truth, the other contenders under double figures. Tickets for the Kosciuszko sweepstakes will go on sale soon with Tab. It's sure to be another big week of racing. Stay tuned to all our social pages for all the latest information.